Hey, hey, Bepler here. <laughs> Hello, it's Bepler, and we're talking about some a tip. This is a tip about animating in reverse, which I find helpful often. Let's talk about it. Let's let's just do it. Actually, sometimes you make a logo, and you're like, mm, this animator, this animator anims and it looks really good and you're like oh, I gotta show this to someone but I want it to be snazzy so I want to animate it well it's kind of hard to lead up to this exact state of things so maybe you want to figure out an easy way to get around the whole ending on a perfect thing like if I started this pentagon real little then and I tried to make it big going up to the big pentagon it's when you know your final result, but you want to make it good up until that point. And you don't want to use tweens. That's important, because tweens would just make this pointless. So let's uh, start uh, bringing this up into some symbols here. Oh, did I do the thing? Did I do the thing I wasn't supposed to do yet? I did that thing. Yes. Okay, so let me just put these all on their own layers and show you what I mean when I say animating in reverse. We do some of this, some uh, that, and good to go. So let's start by imagining what we want to happen. First, this is going to come in, then animator is going to come in, and then the pentagon is going to come in from the side. Okay, pretty simple. Oh, you couldn't see my mouse through any of that. So this, anim oh, you can't see it, animator and then pentagon okay got it good so let's start with the pentagon let's just move these so I don't have to look at them and then just change it a little bit from where it stands get my uh, onion skin and since it's this is lighter than halfway between white and black I'm gonna change the background to black to see my onion just a bit better so what I'm doing now is just changing the pose like it's going to be coming from over here and I'm doing it all backwards so I'm actually now drawing the frame right before it settles into its final resting pose which is this one okay get kind of a sucking motion going on as a this pentagon gets it's just warped into its position Okay, make the corners look good. Do so. Do the things that will make the things look good, and you will be a not bad animator. Pro tip right there. <laughs> Quote that. <laughs> Man, Skype, you just have notifications that pop up on my screen. Oh, there they go again. Well, time to exit you. So, does anybody? And I could probably figure this out if I looked. Never mind. Never mind. We do the pentagon slurking like a little slug into the, the infinite abyss. Getting faster as it goes. And then suddenly it's just going to be gone. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Teeny tiny little one right there. Great. So pentagon done uh, now time for this okay break it up uh, symbolize it which by the way you can make a hotkey for and it'll look like this when you do it screw that I actually made it already a symbol never mind um, but it would look like this BAM which is awesome I recommend everybody does it go watch the typography tutorial the typo the typography tutorial uh, tutorial and you will learn so many things. Oh, if you're ever having trouble like that, like I, well, never mind. But if you can't select something, just de or select all and deselect the stuff you don't want selected. That's always nice and quick. Okay, so this, 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 this. Let me set a common point for the, uh, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Ignore anything I said. I'm just going to throw it somewhere out here and it'll look fine. It's gonna look fine. So now this is the last frame of this. And 
it will be just sort of be easing to a stop and it's going to get smaller and then get even smaller and you guessed it even smaller and suddenly it was gone and it was gone same thing for animator this is what it means to be an animator you just come out of nowhere just explode from the animation community no one ever sees you coming mm. flash cc you need to fix your rotation does anybody use flash cc and know what i'm talking about at small levels especially with classic tweens it doesn't understand how rotation works it goes on like giant increments and snapping is clearly not on so i don't even know and i'm flash bepler i mean come on man come on what are we supposed to know if Flash Beffler doesn't know? <gasps> and ready? Animator was gone! So, throw in your doubles in reverse of what they normally would be. In fact, let's just do this now. So select all your frames and reverse them. And then do your doubles like you would. Just do your doubles like you would. And I'm starting to think animator should come in after this since you read it that way. Um, CC, your timeline is so easy to grab. And then change that there. <laughs> right here, but real. And the final, the final touch. It's the final touch. Delete. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no. Delete. Move this back. Guys, this animator. Whoosh. Huh. Huh. Um, oh, for that thing? Wow. A professional intro in um, this many thirtieths of a second flat. I would never use these fonts. These are atrocious. No, 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 not these fonts. I would never use a pentagon cutting through the word animator. That bothers me. But this is just a demo. And look at it. it. It ends up exactly where you wanted it because you started from the last frame and worked your way backwards. This is how I did this. Oh, my little logo icon. Well, let's watch it. Ready? Bam added a sound effect there. That's just me uh, ruffling my jeans in the air in front of the microphone. Sounded great. And it looked great because this bit and this bit and the name are all animated backwards and then reversed so that it's super easy. Pro tip. Thanks for watching. Flash Bepler. <gasps>